today we joined up with Eve and James Python Con. If Python had suddenly up and vanished, well, the entire regulatory reporting infrastructure of the bank would have collapsed. This new API is a web-based API, a JSON web-based API. It's not a common API, it's not that. We don't always take that into consideration because we have no way to take that into account except for looking at prices. One of the things that people haven't really realized too much yet is that Bitcoin is still an experimental um, kind of project. I think when people talk about dark pools, they kind of use one term to describe, I would say, two very, very different systems. Now you can think that you can accomplish this by other means, you can create constants at the top level, but then you dirty your scopes. I created a, a sampling procedure where I just draw samples one after another on the normal distribution center around zero, standard deviation of one. If you can make it interactive, then it means you can like really like toggle around and actually see everything about the surface. You are first screening directly from the API. Okay? So I can pass all my screening parameters and execute that and it's going to give me all the results at once, right, on the fly. There is also a way to not only access Excel from Python, but also to use Python as your macro language. It's exactly what you said in your talk, the need for a NumPy or SciPy equivalent for finance.